Kia ora guys and welcome to my channel. Uh, my name is Zach aka The Green Baron um, and I just want to say welcome to my second video um, which probably should have been my first video but I think um, having a little introduction to the my story of you know, getting my medical cannabis prescription was a bit more interesting than just setting out a roadmap for a channel you haven't seen content for so um, yeah uh, so as I just said, this this video will be a bit more of a roadmap, uh, touching on some of the feedback I got from uh, the last video. And um, <clears throat> sorry, I, my voice is a bit funny. I've recorded this video now five times. Every time I keep screwing up the recording, so fingers crossed. Um, but uh, I think first thing I should do is introduce myself a bit more better. Uh, my name is Zach. I am originally from Auckland. Uh, I now live in Dunedin. I am studying uh, botany and genetics at the University of Otago. I'm 19, which is why it was quite difficult for me to uh, get a medical cannabis prescription. Um, doctors at the moment are a bit funny about uh, prescribing it to people under the age of 20. Fair enough. Um, but yeah, I uh, I am prescribed uh, 35 grams, uh, 35 gram shishka berry um, product as well as the um, bottle of, I think it's called Helios 100, uh, the CBD oil um, products. I Those are sort of similar to the products I've used in the past from people like Green Doctors, uh, Green Fairies and things like that. Um, in regards to my history of using medical cannabis, um, I initially started self-medicating uh, about two years ago during the, the COVID uh, lockdowns and stuff. Uh, I, I was having a lot of um, anxiety related issues to do with um, being isolated from, from my friends in school and stuff uh, and and found that cannabis really helped calm me down and be able to focus more and um, be, be less worried and have less issues throughout the time. It, it, it was really great to have um, and thanks to all the wonderful people who were uh, uh, um, retailing their products um, during those times. Um, I'm, I'm sure you've heard feedback from people, but it was very, very helpful and thank you. Um, but yeah, so uh, after doing for more anxiety based, I, I found that it does help with pain issues caused from me having a thing called hypermobility syndrome, uh, a thing where I have very, very stretchy limbs. Uh, and they tend to hyperextend, which can cause a lot of uncomfortability, especially when going to sleep. I, I find that I can't relax as easy. So uh, cannabis really helps me with that. Um, now, um, uh, next thing I sort of really want to do is um, touch on some of the feedback because it, it was really great. Um, and it's, please keep sending more. It's how I improve. Um, just so you know, um, for, for a little bit, it's probably going to be a bit bad. I don't have a mic uh, at the moment. I'm actively working on getting a, a lavalier mic for, for me to have so my audio quality is a bit better. Uh, lighting wise, also kind of average. I'm using the sun and a window, uh, which is also probably why you can hear some construction outside. Um, it's it's not the greatest, um, but I I I'm very I was a bit excited to to start making content and I thought why not, um, so yeah that that's probably going to be a bit more uh, sooner um, in regards to having like sets and things and uh, that'll probably be maybe around November uh, at the moment I'm sort of just uh, can't really set up a lot of things. Uh, permanently at the moment um, just because I'm sort of moving at the end of the year uh, actually not the end of the year in like two months uh, so I'll be back in Auckland for, for like three months where I'll be able to set some temporary more temporary sets but I'll have more space and um, I'll be able to do stuff and also be able to hopefully experience with more products because uh, proximity to um, better better places for access, um, 
uh, other than that, um, some of the content that I really want to get into making is I, I, I want to create like a nice um, uh, informative community for uh, us medical cannabis patients here in New Zealand and even those in Australia because we do have a lot of similarities in products um, and for us, especially in New Zealand, we, we don't have a lot of information. Uh, the media doesn't really report on any good information. The media doesn't have uh, really a good amount of information um, for for us patients. So uh, that's something I really, really want to delve into. Um, and I want to share a lot of the information and compile a lot of the information that I've found uh, from being a member of the uh, Medical Cannabis NZ uh, subreddit as that for me was probably one of the most useful things I found throughout my journey of getting my um, prescription and um, becoming a patient. Um, so yeah, you guys are great by the way. I know a lot of you guys are from there and uh, keep keep sharing information, it's really helpful. Um, as well as that, I want to be able to hopefully uh, maybe interview and talk with some of the people in the industry uh, on the legal side with uh, talking to people who work for companies such as Helios, Medleaf, stuff like that. Um, if, if you work for any of those companies, please contact me. Uh, I, would, I, I would really love to talk to you. I think it would be really interesting for us as patients to hear from people who are actively involved in the production of our, of our medicine. Um, and as well, I, I want to talk to green fairies as I think they still play a huge important role in our in our medical cannabis culture here in New Zealand as we do have a very high price point for a lot of our products. Um, for me, I I even find it quite high. I'm, I'm quite fortunate to be able to, to afford it, but it is still quite high. So um, they do play still play an important role and I, I don't want to touch on that a little bit more. Um, as well as that, I, I, I want to discuss flower reviews. I think flower reviews and product reviews will be a, a very important thing, uh, in my mind at least they are, as um, for me, I find it as a patient, and I'm sure many of you as do as well, that um, having a rough idea of what we're getting into, having a rough idea of what we're getting into with the medicine we're purchasing, spending all that money on, and is it actually gonna work with us? And um, so for that, uh, it would be great uh, for people to continue posting their own flower reviews on the, the Medical Cannabis subreddit. Uh, the products you've used, keep, keep posting about it, keep talking about that. I really wanna be able to compile uh, not just my own thoughts, but uh, everyone on, in the community's thoughts on uh, how the different products work as well as talking about uh, uh, different methods of consumption, such as, um, for me, I'm not a huge fan of the, the feel of CBD oil. So uh, talking about the how well it is to use the, the capsules uh, and filling capsules and taking them like that. Um, and I also want to be able to create some videos that are a bit less formal, a bit less informative, but still fun, and maybe have some informative qualities, um, like uh, cooking videos, edible stuff like that, munchies, uh, we all get them. Um, as well as uh, I want to sort of do a, a little bit of um, some, some other cool content that might be more appealing to probably a younger audience, but um, I know some of some other people, uh, older people, might find it enjoyable, enjoyable as well in comparing um, uh, being drunk versus being high versus being sober, competing little challenges and stuff like that, just so um, we have a better understanding as a community of the differences between um, what it's like to be high versus drunk uh, and how affected we are as uh, we commonly get considered to be similar to other, other drugs. Uh, very much alcohol, the, being under the influence of alcohol and cannabis uh, in the media are very considered the same, which I think is incorrect, well it is at least for me, I know everyone has different effects, and for me it is it is very different, um, so I, I want to do stuff like that as well, a bit more goofy, a bit more relaxed content, uh, and also some stuff where um, maybe I'm just medicating, watching the sunset, chatting, listening to some music, and you guys can 
I don't know, tag along for a little bit. Um, probably more longer format videos for, for people who, who want something a bit more relaxing to just chill out and watch while they, while they also medicate as well. Um, but yeah, uh, one of the big important feedback things I did get as well is uh, detailing what I think I'll do in my next video. So um, I think I, I will do that. Uh, for me, for my next video, I, I've decided to do a video on um, uh, places to find access to cannabis information, medical cannabis information uh, relating to New Zealand, as well as just medical com in cannabis information overall, uh, different websites, um, linking more people to the medical cannabis subreddit, I think, I think that should be a very, very important thing um, as well, and also just a bunch of other information and things that I've collected and gathered through, through my process of becoming a patient. Uh, but yeah, um, thank you all for, for watching and spending your time watching this video. Uh, if you made it this far, uh, please do consider subscribing, uh, commenting, leave me some feedback. It is really helpful um, to, to get feedback. I'm very, very new to this. Uh, I don't really know what I'm doing, um, so please leave feedback. It, it's great. Um, but yeah, um, thank you so much for watching. Um, next video might be out tomorrow might be out the next day i'm not too sure I, i'm sort of pumping out content pretty quickly at the moment as, as i'm sort of in that little early phase of wow this is really fun um so so yeah uh please look forward to those videos and yeah thanks see you on the next video